The Iowa Grocery Industry Association presents Providing You with XMV. Thank you for joining us as the Iowa Grocery Industry Association celebrates a year of accomplishments, a bright future, and you. As we look into the future, the Iowa Grocery Industry Association has set its sights on providing extra member value, or XMV for short. Everything we do starts with a focus on you and a desire to add extra member value. It means we are devoting IGIA staff time and resources to ensure our members receive the greatest return on their membership investment. Providing extra member value means understanding what's important to you, the challenges you face, and the assistance that you need to secure the outcome you desire. This past year, IGIA staff hit the road, making numerous member visits throughout the fall and winter months. IGIA staff traveled to West Street Market in Manning, Brothers Market in Lisbon, Pickle Barrel Market in Trainer, Fall Gatters in Northwood, and Brick Street Market in Bondurant, in addition to many others. Staff also conducted in-depth interviews with members in preparing four segments of Your Hometown Grocer for the Iowa Grocer Magazine. IGIA got to know Store Manager Marie Stricker and Market Manager Kurt Studer at the Fairway in Spirit Lake. Store Director Susie Sundholm of the East Kimberly Road Hy-Vee Store in Davenport. Store Director Mark Pearson of the Dolls Store on Ingersoll in Des Moines and Randy Bender, owner of Bender's Food Stores in Denver, Bellevue, Guttenberg, and Fenimore, Wisconsin. Each visit provided valuable insights that have helped the IGIA to tailor new programs and services delivering maximum XMV. These visits also fortified the IGIA's commitment to put members at the heart of everything they do. By focusing on members' wants and needs, they ensure that your IGIA membership is giving you the extra member value you deserve. After visiting with our members, we uncovered the need for quality training and educational programs. You asked, and the IGIA answered with more high-quality training opportunities. IGIA held an intensive three-day supermarket smarts training imparting critical information to retail management from across the state and producing 26 Supermarket Smarts graduates in 2014. In response to a member survey, IGIA staff put together the first ever Compliance Checklist Seminar. This is a one-day conference packed with information including food safety, child labor laws, and health care reform. This training received exceedingly positive reviews, letting us know we were right on track. In March this year, the Iowa Grocery Industry Association launched the Women in the Industry Coffee Group. The purpose of the group is to provide education, support, encouragement, and leadership opportunities to advance women in the grocery industry. The group kicked off with two powerful presenters, Iowa Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds and Rose Claywig Mitchell, former Senior Vice President of Governmental Affairs for Hy-Vee Incorporated. Having a network of other women to call on who are facing the same challenges, looking for the same information and resources has made this group a priority for me. There's just no substitute for interacting with women like Rose Mitchell and Kim Reynolds who have had such tremendously successful careers and who I hold in such high regard. I think the first two meetings of this group have piqued the interest of many women in our industry. And looking to the future, more phenomenal speakers are scheduled like Drake Athletic Director, Sandy Hatfield Club. I'm excited about the education and leadership this group will continue to provide, and I would highly recommend every woman in the industry to join us, whether you work in an office, a store, or a warehouse. The Women in the Industry Coffee Group, like all IGIA events, plays a key role helping members make valuable connections. This year, IGIA staff concentrated their efforts on infusing every event with extra member value. We believe that these events are key to recognizing that no business operates in a vacuum and to fostering a spirit of cooperation among our members. Each year, the IGIA hosts the Iowa Grocers Education Foundation Scholarship Golf Classic, the annual convention, the Iowa Best Bagger Competition, the IGIA Fall Golf Classic, and the IGIA Hall of Fame Dinner. Coming together as an industry is critical as the association looks to the future 
especially when it comes to the IGIA's role in providing legislative leadership. The IGIA is at the Capitol every day of the legislative session, representing its members' best interests. IGIA lobbyist Scott Sundstrom, along with IGIA President Michelle Hurd and the IGIA Government Relations Committee, guide the association's legislative efforts. These efforts include bringing its members to the Capitol each February for Grocers Care Day. This event provides a unique opportunity for grocers to meet face-to-face -face with legislators and share how the issues impact their businesses and the communities in which they operate. The committee is made up of retailers and wholesalers, uh, retailers of different sizes, and um, amongst those retailers we have convenience stores and grocery stores. The purpose of the committee is to identify issues that affect the association and develop a response to those issues. I think the Government Relations Committee is making a very positive difference. As legislation and proposed regulation continues to increase, having this Government Relations Committee inform public officials is very beneficial. In the legislative session in 2014, the group was um, influential in getting e-cigarettes legislation passed. As a part of that legislation, it prevented e-cigarettes from getting in the hands of minors and also preventing 99 different counties from implementing their own regulations. In 2013, the Government Relations Committee worked hard to pass arguably the largest commercial property tax reform bill in the state of Iowa's history. This alone will save the IGIA members several million dollars collectively. IGIA's Government Relations Committee works hand-in-hand -hand with the recently established Advocacy Committee. Led by Committee Chair Tyler Farner, the Advocacy Committee seeks to align IGIA's community support and outreach activities with its legislative priorities. We really try to add extra member value by looking down the road at the issues we think we will face and taking action now to minimize the impact in the future. A great example of this proactive approach to issues is IGIA's Build With Bags program. The issue of plastic bag bans looms large over the grocery industry and brings with it many unintended negative consequences for grocers, consumers, and the environment. Rather than being reactive and spending all of our time and resources fighting bag bans in the legislature, the Advocacy Committee has invested in the Build With Bags program and demonstrated how voluntary recycling of plastic bags is a better alternative to bag bans. After four years, the program has awarded more than $150,000 in grants to Iowa communities to encourage plastic bag recycling and to turn recycled plastic bags into park benches, playground equipment, and planters beautifying more than 100 parks and school playgrounds throughout the state. It has also kept hundreds of thousands of bags out of landfills. Advocacy efforts are one way grocers can give back to the communities that support them while working proactively to build relationships and support for legislation that is good for the grocery industry and for the community. Programs like the Build With Bag grants only happen when our industry pulls together. To continue to foster the spirit of cooperation and build a better future, we must actively cultivate our future leaders. This is the motivation behind one of our most exciting new programs this past year, IGIA's Leadership Institute, which is another example of IGIA adding XMB to your membership. Designed to enhance and develop the leadership skills of IGIA's next generation of leaders, IGIA Leadership Institute condensed four information-packed sessions into three days of intensive education. These sessions covered identifying leadership styles and profiles, giving a successful presentation, branding yourself from the inside out, and understanding government relations. The Leadership Institute has a lot of value for the grocery industry because our industry relies a lot on relationships and we were able to see a lot of different aspects of the industry, what different people have to deal with on a daily basis, different challenges and issues. The big takeaway was spending a day outside of the office among some peers in the industry really identifying both your strengths and your weaknesses as an individual leader and as part of a team. And I was really impressed with the quality of it. I would highly recommend the Leadership Institute to my peers. Uh, it was a great opportunity to meet other people who aspire to be leaders in the industry. And also, we got to get knowledge from people who have been in those positions and done a lot of great things in our industry. I thought it was a really powerful, cool experience. The Leadership Institute is critical to developing individuals who will lead the grocery industry in the future, 
like IGIA's incoming chairman of the board, Tom Watson, executive vice president and chief retail officer for hy V. Even though all of us in the room compete in the retail, vendor, and supplier communities, there's more that binds us together than separates us. The IGIA is instrumental in helping us find that common ground and bringing us all together. That's one of the many reasons I value Hy-Vee's membership in the IGIA. Among others, the IGIA is one of the most highly regarded associations in the country. I'm extremely proud and honored to be the board chairman next year for the IGIA. In the coming year, we will continue to build on an already strong foundation. We will strive to increase our extra member value in all areas by looking to our membership first and responding with a spirit of service. I'm very proud of how far the association has come in a year. I'm extremely excited to see all that we can accomplish in the year ahead.